What's going on guys? Welcome to VBTV. Today I'm going to show you how to record 1080p 60fps video with DxTory with no lag and multiple audio tracks making it so easy to edit your videos. Now all the links are going to be in the description. There's DxTory, uh, UT Video Codec, and Lagarith Video Codec in case you want to use it. I use UT. I find it's pretty awesome. It's pretty much lossless and the quality, I mean the quality is great. It's fast. They're both free. So in the description you're gonna have the link for DxTory. This is the website. It's uh, from Japan. You can buy it. I think it's uh, 30 something dollars. It's in uh, 3,800 Japanese yen or whatever that is. Uh, it comes out to like 33 bucks or something like that. So when you first open DxTory this is your screen. It says DxTory Video Codec. That's no good. It's not fast enough and it's not good enough um, in uh, encoding speed. Wow, I can't talk. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to type UT Video Codec on Google here. And the first, the second result is going to be this, the index website. Now it's going to look a little ghetto, but it's fine. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to install this. I'm not going to show you how to install because I already have it. And just for fun, if you want to install Lagarith, you're going to click right here. Click that, install it also. After you install it, you're going to have to restart the XTORI. And once they're installed, you're going to see now you have, you're not going to have this, the matrix and the magic YUV, because those are uh, other codecs I installed. But you will have Lagarith here, and you will have the UT video down here. Now, for this video, we're going to use UT video. Now there's a bunch of them here. Now which one do we use? You're not going to worry about these first three. You're going to worry about these bottom four. Now 709 is the higher quality video. So that's what we want. So we want 709. But which one? There's 422 and 420. YUV 422 is a much bigger file size and it's slower on the computer. So we're doing 1080p 60fps. We want fast and of smaller files, uh, you know, uh, not small file size, but less. So we're going to click UT420, uh, I'm sorry, YUV420. You're going to click here, and if yours is different, it shouldn't because this is default, change it. Now you might have more here because I think if you have an i7, these processors will be a little bit higher. And that's it for the video codec. Now real quick, we're going to go from left to right. The first screen here, this is ignore settings, so you can set uh, any target windows that you don't want DxTory to the overlay to come up in, like let's say Fraps, Sony Vegas, you see this little green mark right here? That's uh, That would be ignored if I did that. This next screen right here is the overlay. It'll show the FPS and the file write FPS. So if you're recording at 60 FPS, you want the file write to be 60. If it's any lower than that, it's not going to be full 60 uh, FPS. It's going to be choppy. Now the, now the video won't record the overlay. That's just for your benefit. All right here are going to be your folders. Now I have three set up for different hard drives. All you would do is just click add folder, you know, and then um, you pick a folder. Once you have a folder added, it's going to say zero megabits a second, and you're just going to click this button right here and just benchmark it. What this benchmark really does just shows you, you know, the speed megabits per second. Now I'm recording on this hard drive while that's going. So we're going to go to this one. Yeah, it's going a little slow today. That's all right, because OBS is kind of taking up a lot. But anyway, you get the idea. See, it has 193, 183, 131. That's enough to record 60 FPS. Now, screenshot folder, I don't take screenshots, but you can set that up if you want. This is your hotkeys. I, these are the default hotkeys. Now, Steam has an F12 for screenshots. So every time you press F12, you're going to take a screenshot. So you can change it to like F8, F11, or whatever you want. Now, this, we're going to go back here. So we have our video codec set up. Now, we're going to go to frame rate. We're going to put which frame rate we want. If we want 30, we put 30. If we want 60, put 60. This is really pretty, pretty simple. It's not that complicated to do file output we want to output it to a file or this we could stream it now we want AVI raw cap means that it's going to use as many hard drives as you have selected here and then after you're done recording you're gonna to have to convert them into one file so it's kind of a pain I don't use that include mouse cursor I do that just for tutorial videos but that's up to you you're not going to change any of this here or any of that there 
Now scaling. 100% obviously it's going to be the exact resolution of the game. Now I have a 1440p monitor and YouTube doesn't do 60fps so I have to do 1080p 60fps. Now here's the magic for the audio that I was talking about. This is wonderful. You can have up to 8 audio tracks in one video. It's so nice when you're, you're editing. So, the first audio track I have my Blue Yeti microphone. So, just have that selected and then we pick whatever it is. It's 48 hertz, 16 bit. Go over here, now we have the headset. So this is where the game audio is coming in. That'll be a separate track. Now let's say I had another microphone I want to use that. Boom. Now that's another microphone. Uh, whoops. I mix, mix, mixed it up. Where's the headset? There we go. So, let's say, bam. Now I have two microphones. Now it's going to be three audio tracks and both microphones are going to be picked up. So that's really, really nice. To remove it, just there. If you want to use a push to talk key, click that. I don't. This is for the screenshot. You guys can look at that on your own. Now here's the default settings. Now, your default's gonna look just like this. I suggest if you have a computer with four threads, use four, or if you have eight, use eight if you have an i7. I have an i5 4670K. Now see, if we have it set here, default's four. So what we wanna do is click this, and then click use default. Now this will always default to four of them. That's just information about the XTORI. Right here is check for update. And that's pretty much it. So now let's say if we open Fallout 4, now you're gonna have the FPS in the upper left. Now it's probably not gonna go above 48 because I have um, the uh, V-Sync on. Wow, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So I have V-Sync on, so it's not gonna go past that. Now. I'm not going to record it now because it's going to slow and lag the system because I have two things going at once. But you get the idea. You hit F12. When you're done recording, you're going to hit F12 again. You're going to get a file. Now we're going to open up Sony Vegas just to give you... This was one of the videos that I did. So we're just going to get rid of that. So for an example, we'll take Battlefield 4, which is a video I used the X tour to record. Now, boom. Now you see... It has two audio tracks. This is the game volume, this is the game volume, and this is the mic volume. And it makes it really easy to edit. So you can lower this one, you can lower this one, you can cut it out. It's a very simple program. There's absolutely no lag. I'm not gonna do this, but you know, there's absolutely no lag in the video, and it comes out really good. And that's it. So I'm gonna put in the description the links to DX Tori, UT Video Codec, and Blagareth if you want to use it. And that's it. This is how you get 1080p 60fps. So take care guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.